Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. In this tutorial we will talk about IOs as conditional arguments and also creating new IO groups. So if I have this robot chosen and click on signals, you can see already we have some stuff connected. So the purpose here is that I would just wait for this part until it arrives to this sensor and then this boolean value over here will set to true when the part is on sensor and then we'll inform the robot using input 200 and then from there I would just with some signal output I would send it to the conveyor motor over here so that it would stop the conveyor for us then we can pick up the cylinder what I'm trying to show you is that here now we can use these inputs for example input 200 it can be used as a conditional argument and then also we are able to create more groups now you can just see one IO group like as input for example we can also have more under here for example it could be the wiring group or pick group so let's get to it I'm gonna use this layout and the idea is that maybe actually I would just put this 200 and the idea is that we will have a motor maybe I just turn off the signals and a conveyor and this feeder produces the cylinders for us and a sensor a conveyor sensor then an articulated robot it could be any of the robots from the ECAT so now I'm just under the manufacturer visual components so these are parts that are produced by us for simulation <laughs> so let's go to program tab because this is where we program the robot and I'm gonna put maybe a little bit of delay here so that the signals would fire up let's click on the robot and then under the executor I would just put it is looping so that it will basically loop this program that is in the program editor and then if I go to signal actions there is a release to physics property so I'm gonna just say that if there is no target then let the parts to be in physics now let's just go for for example check if the conveyor is on let's check for the signals so if the output 200 is true it's basically connected to the conveyor as you can see that the motor signal is on so output 200 is true so here I would say if output 200 is true so in case that you want to refer to an input value you gotta put here in capital and in case you want to mention an output just put out so in case output 200 true then print for me conveyor on let's press play yep so you can see over here now it's telling us that the conveyor is on then we can go into a while loop that while this input 200 is true uh, we can take the robot and pick up the part you can say it in this way or you can say it also if input 200 is not false so basically zero means false and one means true so meaning that there is a value and there is a component in sensor then then what first of all stop the conveyor so output 200 should be false then print part arrived okay let's test so here we have conveyor on oh part arrived and conveyor stopped beautiful
let's see what happens okay so in case that I speed up the whole thing you see that it continues to do those actions for us as requested so that's that was the idea here to use the IOs as conditional arguments but in case that I want more IO groups now we just have one input let's say I want to have my own IO group down here not just this one so for that we need to go to modeling tab modeling tab is available in professional or premium versions for that I need to go to behaviors and get the boolean map and I would say start the index from signal 0 it's available until you could just put any value I would put it like 999 so it will take 999 signals basically 1000 including the 0 and then it is an input so I would just change the name to for example pick part something like that it's a nicer name I would say then I would go and check under the robot and yeah pick part as you can see we have this sensor boolean signal connected to signal 200 I would just put also this one 200 and then here this one I can just remove it so now we are connected to a new IO group and what do I need here we were waiting for the sensor to get the part under this IO group but now it's changed what is changed so now the name of the IO group is pick part and of course the input is 200 and when it's not false or basically it's true pick us pick for us the part not pick us <laughs> okay well this was the whole idea of the tutorial now we are using the IOs as conditional arguments and also we are able to create new IO groups. Hope you enjoy the video and for more robotics and robot programming tutorials see our academy and best of luck. See you later. Bye.